I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be looking at Airlight VR, a simple application that will allow you to play desktop VR titles such as Elite on devices such as the Samsung Gear VR or the standalone Oculus Go headset. I'll be using an Oculus Go, but the process should be the same regardless of the Android device. And while there are similar apps for the iPhone, this is Android only. Let's look at how to install, configure, and use Airlight VR to play Elite Dangerous. First, let's set some expectations. While the quality achieved using Airlight is impressively high, the overall experience won't match that of a Rift or a Vive. As the Oculus Go is higher resolution with less God Ray effect than the Rift, in some ways the experience is better, as the text is easier to read and the overall image clearer, however the latency issues do lessen the overall experience. I tested both my wireless and wired network using a micro USB to Ethernet adapter and got nearly identical results from both. I'll include links in the description to everything you'll need. To get everything set up, first you'll install Steam VR by opening Steam, then going to Library, then Tools, right-clicking Steam VR and choosing Install. Once the download is complete, you'll need to download and install Airlight VR. Again, all the links are in the description. Note that if you're installing on a PC that also has an Oculus Rift installed, you'll want to stop the Oculus VR service by right-clicking the Start button, choosing Computer Management, expanding Services and Applications, selecting Services, then right-clicking on Oculus VR Runtime Service and clicking Stop. Once you have Steam VR installed, you'll install Airlight. You may need to disable your antivirus during the install as it's possible it will falsely detect it and keep the driver from being installed. Once installed, launch Airlight, select the About tab and confirm the driver is installed. If not, click Install Driver here. To install the Airlight client on your Oculus Go, you'll need to first get the installation key from the ALVR key distribution page. Once there, click Get Key and copy the key to your clipboard. You'll then log into your Oculus account via your browser and paste the code into the Redeem Key page. Again, everything is linked below. Finally, you'll need to install the client on your Go by browsing to Library, then Not Installed. Select and install Airlight VR. Now that everything is installed, launch the Airlight VR client on your Go and the Airlight VR client on your desktop. On the Server tab, click Start Server and SteamVR should launch and detect your headset. You'll then click Connect to connect the Airlight server to the client on your headset. On your first launch, you'll be taken through the SteamVR configuration to set your height, etc. When the setup is complete, you should be in the SteamVR interface in your Oculus Go. The final step is to launch Elite and enable VR. This is done from the Graphics settings by selecting Options, then Graphics, then either HMD speakers or HMD headphones under 3D. Clicking Apply should enable Elite in the headset and change your desktop resolution to 1280x768. If you'd like, you can reset that to 1080p if you want to capture the desktop output. If this is your first experience in VR, you'll want to be sure to bind a key to Reset HMD Orientation under the Miscellaneous section in Control Options. This will recenter your view if it drifts, as it likely will. You should now be experiencing the world of Elite in glorious VR, albeit with only 3 degrees of motion tracking rather than the full 6 offered by the Rift or Vive. This means you can look around your ship, much like head look, but you won't be able to lean in or move about. Airlight does offer support for the FreePie library, which can use additional hardware devices such as Wiimotes to provide full positional tracking, however, I was unable to test this. While again, this doesn't compare to the experience offered by the Rift or Vive, the results are extremely impressive. In my testing, the image quality was noticeably better than my Rift CV1, and I only had very occasional encoding artifacts. Where our previous look at the Rift Cat was simply a way to get a glimpse of VR to help you decide, this is damn near a full usable solution. I spent over an hour doing various tasks such as combat with it, being an enjoyable experience. While I tested this with the Oculus Go, it does offer support for the Gear VR and likely other Android-based devices with third-party headsets. If you give this a try, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. The experience of Elite in VR is rather difficult to explain and is something that should be experienced by any dedicated fan. Put simply, without VR you're playing a very beautiful space game. With VR, you're flying a f spaceship. It really is that big of a difference.
The scale of the game is apparent in a way that simply isn't possible in two dimensions. If you have an Oculus Go or Gear VR, I hope you'll give it a try. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that look at Elite in VR on the Oculus Go, I hope you'll check out my other content and join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and the Creators Roundtable each Friday, and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.